Alright, so I've clipped my two hats together at the quarter point. Now what you want to do is put maybe two or three clips between each quarter point like that just so that the edges are aligned the whole way around. You can see it's not quite aligning properly so I just need to pull that down and put a clip in place to hold it. And then once we do that we are going to sew approximately 0.7 centimeters from the edge all the way around leaving roughly a five to seven centimeter gap and we're going to make sure we back stitch at the beginning end end of that because we're going to turn the hat out through that gap and there is a whole lot of hat there to come out through that gap so we want to make sure that that stitch is nice and secure okay so now we have sewn around the brim of the hat leaving a five to seven centimeter opening and then the next thing that I've done is use my pinking shears to trim away that seam allowance except for here where my opening is so the next thing that I want to do is then feed all of my hat through the opening so that both layers are right sides out okay so once you've turned it right side out this was what you will have so what we want to do is we want to take our hat to the iron and we want to just press along that edge and just press those two edges in just a little bit and then the next thing that we want to do is make sure our two hats are pushed all out nicely and so that our two brims are sitting flat and then we want to press that as well and once we've done that we will move along to top stitching our brim okay so it's all nicely ironed now so you can see the brims looking nice and flat I've ironed the opening folds of the top and bottom in and pinned or clipped them in place and so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to top stitch our brim so the first line of top stitching that we're going to do is about half a centimeter from the edge of the hat because the first thing that we want to do is close that opening up so just the whole way around half a centimeter from the edge and then after that we're going to use the edge of our press presser foot and line it up with that first line of top stitching and go all the way around again and then move along until we have sewn the entirety of the brim so both sides are attached and what that's going to do is that's going to stop this inside layer here sagging when it's being worn because it doesn't have any interfacing and it's also going to help add a little bit of structure to the brim of the hat okay so now that we have top stitched around the brim your hat is essentially finished so there's nothing else left to do on the hat unless you'd really like to uh, but tomorrow night i am going to be showing you how to add a reversible chin strap to the hat so i will see you then